Show everyone the power of the media. I had to put this article on my channel. Now, the media creates everything. Your image, what they say, um, could make or break you. And in this particular case, they're showing the power of not loving God or Jesus. So one of my uh, favorite movies of all time is Black Panther. Like it's easily, easily top 10 of all time for me. And there's a lot of reason I love that movie, but Letitia Wright is one of the reasons as well. So she blasted in media because they actually cut out her saying she want to praise God, thank God for where she is because she is a Christian. But hey, check the link for this article will be in the description. So according to Fox News, Black Panther star blasts media for editing out massive part where I give God the glory now. We all know who she is. She plays Shuri in Black Panther. So she throws shade at a journalist in the media for ignoring her Christian faith. The British actress, who was the biggest box office star in 2018 for the role as Shuri in Marvel's Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War, tweeted Monday, two days before Harper's Bazaar named her as one of their women of the year, but did not mention her faith. It's super cute when journalists slash interviewers for magazines leave out the massive part where I give God the glory for the success slash achievements in my life, Wright wrote. She added, ha ha, I still love you, God, and God will still be praised. So she also says she identifies as a child of God also. Gave a shout out to Kanye for his new gospel album. She says the first time in years that she was able to play uh, a yay album and not switch it off due to the profanity. She wrote with a laughing face, Jesus is King is on repeat. Um, when she received the Rising Star Award at the BAFTA earlier this year, she revealed her previous battle with depression and said her deep faith in Jesus got her through. She said, I can't get up here without thanking God. She shared a few years ago, I saw myself in a deep state of depression. I literally wanted to quit acting. The only thing that pretty much pulled me out of that was God, my belief, my faith, and family. And, and an email from a BAFTA saying they wanted me to be a part of the BAFTA breakthrough Brits. And I was like, let me try again. Although writers star to set in Black Panther sequel in 2022, she says she has her sights set on smaller projects that make people think. And that's what I was getting at. The bigger you get in Hollywood, the more satanic it gets. And they don't want to affiliate her with being a Christian because she is easily not in a $20 million club. That's when they start coming at you, uh, proposing more mon money on you to sell your soul. She was just one of the people that they picked to be um, a black rising British star, uh, you know, but now she's on her way to fame. I'm quite sure she's going to bow down and um, if she's a true Christian and just stay with the small projects because it's not her cup of tea. She's happy where she's at. And you can see Hollywood is knocking on her door for her to completely sell her soul and worship Satan. Like this video, leave your comment and subscribe later.